Wait he up. had people thinking I was a man. It was to the point my mom had to come to him like, she's a woman. Plaintiff Lakeisha Brazil claims she stood by her ex through tough times, and he repaid her kindness by straight up stealing her money. She's suing for $5,000. Defendant Malcolm Daniels claims his ex is lying and says he's the one who suffered during their relationship. He says he owes her nothing. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Good morning, Judge. Morning, Naj. How are you? I'm doing well, Judge. Good. This is case number 027 on the docket, Brazil versus Daniels. Let's see what we have here. The plaintiff, Lakeisha Brazil? Yes. You are suing your on and off again boyfriend, Malcolm Daniels? Yes. For $5,000 for unpaid personal loans, stolen money, and defamation. Absolutely. Okay. So well, basically, I was seeing Malcolm in 2013. Yeah. We was in a committed relationship. Yeah. And he often asked me to borrow money, and he'll never pay it back. Just recently, uh, he was he had asked me to borrow three thousand dollars. So I'm like, okay, I'm not getting my money back. So I have to stop loaning you money. That's when he took it upon himself to start taking my money. And how do you mean he took your money? He brought me to the check cashing place. We went out to eat. Everything was fine. He picks an argument with me. He takes my whole entire purse. He gives me back my purse, but he doesn't give me back my wallet. How much was that? Is that the $1,000? That's the $1,000. That's negative. We've been in a relationship on and off. Good. The yeah, reason we're here is because she's trying to sue me over some money and whatever else that's going on. And I believe that's false because I helped her with studio time. Um, anybody else, they, they want an arm and leg for studio time. You have a recording studio or something? I have my own place where I do my own music or record myself. And, um, and you're saying she ruined that or? See, yeah, she basically blew it because. Um, yeah, I'll give her, I'll give her time. I'm gonna give you a chance. I'll give, her, I'll give her the studio time that she want or require. I tell her to do it this way, do that way you get more publicity. If you took $1,000 cash, which she didn't say, go ahead, honey, I want you to have this, mm -hmm. then that is theft. That yeah, that is... would be theft. However, I never stole you, from her and never. You never took $1,000 cash no. out of that purse? No. When you say on and off yes. over the past yeah. seven years, what, what has it been like? I mean, at some level, you love him. I do. I really do love him. You wouldn't be with him for seven years otherwise. But yeah. yeah. It's just, it's not easy because of his situation, and I felt sorry for what's, him. Yeah, what's his situation? In 2013, January 29th, I was shot 10 times, once in my head. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I was um, induced in a coma. Uh, I, was, I was supposed to die. Um, it's kind of hard. Um, yeah. You can take your time. I, um, Let me put, so, let, um, let me help you out here. It is obvious that you had some awful things happen to you in, in your life and certainly within the last few years. So I get that and I get that there are obvious strains on, on this relationship and that needs to be taken into account just at the human level. And I appreciate the love you have for each other. Does he mistreat you other than the, the financial thing? Well, he has a lot going on upstairs in his mind. Yeah. And sometimes he takes it out on me because I'm actually the only person. I wouldn't say I'm the only person, but I stuck around throughout that period of time when he was going through things the most. Yeah. And I think he just takes out his anger out on me when I'm just like, I'm only here to try to help you. I do love you. I don't oh, take my anger out on you. Yes, you, you do. You try to make me feel like I'm less than a damn man. So you never hit me? No. No, that, hit now, me on now, now, now we're talking about that. You who, belittle who tells, me. Who, who tells somebody, 
Oh, you're limited. Don't, no. don't even do that. Yeah. I don't say limited like you can't. You do I'm saying say you can't do, you I'm can't work that. like you can't how do you this. used you to work. You can't do that. You can't. It's up to me to work and try to do but, things, um, but at the same time, this is what he do. He will people in over there because he, he knows how to put on a good show. Uh, I'm not, no, I'm not here her. for anything but to just get my money back because I got <laughs> bills I got to pay. You pay, he keeps she's taking money, taking money, taking money, taking money, taking money. Taking money, taking money, taking money. I have hair. text messages to prove it. Just him keep taking things. He took $300 from me. I'm just basically texting him like I want it back. Then this one is about $800. Do you text that after you give it to me? And let me use that for your studio time? He does. I done broken nights. I done broken nights. In the cars. Your Honor. Recording. When he, when he talks about studio time, He's basically recording me off his cell phone inside the vehicle. The issue that you brought to the court is the issue of whether the cash was taken from you. Your remedy in the future, obviously, is you won't leave money lying around the house when he's there, or you won't give him loans. So we're down to the $1,000. I have I'm... police reports and text messages. OK, Brazil well, states her ex-boyfriend, Malcolm Daniels, had taken a $1,000 from her a couple of weeks ago. Brazil states she tried to give Daniels a chance to give the money back, but he never did. Brazil was not able to show any documentation proving said money was indeed hers. So the police took your complaint and decided not to bring charges because there was no proof. It was cash he took. Now, here's the problem. Now, that obviously would be a criminal action, and there was no proof to support a, a, a criminal case. You come here, we're not a criminal court, yeah. but we still need some proof. There has to be evidence in, in a court. So he probably was in a tough time and may very well have... You got angry at her, you took the cash, and you in your own mind, said, you know, I've done all these things for her. She's cost me money here. She cost me money there. I'm keeping the 1000 That could have happened. No, nah, I, I have him say, you, 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 I have him you, say, you, I got your false. face. You're, you're saying that he defamed you. Yes. By? How did he defame you? She know how to defend her. There's not, there's not a guy on he this earth to, that will disrespect her. Say, he tried to say that I, I was a man. I will never let nobody disrespect her, period. You trying to say as I was a, a man, crackhead? As a, as, a, as a man, as a person that believed in my grandmother, everything like that, she no hands Mom, down. I will never let somebody honest. disrespect her. Okay. That's why. He, he called me. He that. had people thinking I was a man. It was to the point my mom had to come to him like, she's a woman. You know, that's well, Wait a second. If you... Okay, first of all, that's absurd. No one's going to believe it, so you... No one can say that you've suffered damage because he says something so silly as that. I know you're a female. So why would you say that? You're why would you a say, woman. Okay. are you... He's I'm... being mean, but that's different than defamation. Yeah. I have him admitting that he owes me money. It says, okay. I got your Fetty, it's a wrap then. Oh, oh you got your money, <laughs> and a wrap that means, okay. Mm -hmm. And that why do they call it Fetty? Because the huh? federal government issues the money? Bills? Why do they call it that's, Fetty? That's a good guess, you know, uh, Judge. I never because the federal that. government prints the money. Exactly. And that's why? See? I like that. <laughs> Man, I got some Fetty. See? see I, I bet see. you do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sadly, we live in a society when people are calling each other names all the time. But in a court of law, to win any kind of a suit on defamation, there has to be measurable damage other than hurt feelings. Regarding the theft of the $1,000, you have to prove things in court. I just wish you'd be honest. I you know am... you took my money. As far as the lawsuit goes, I'm not able to rule in your behalf because there's no evidence in front of me. So you I have be to dismiss the and... case. I am dismissing the case with the advice. You know what you can do to fix your relationship. You really should. You're a good person. Do it. As you can see, there's animosity. So when I leave here, I will not longer, no longer contact. I, have, I, don't, know, I don't want her to call me. I knew that everything was going to fall on his judgment because he's crying. Everybody feels sorry for him because of 
what happens to him. Yeah, I feel bad for him too, but that doesn't give him the right to sit up there and take people's money and do all this devilish stuff to people and then he end up winning the case because sitting up there crying.